What is up digital creators? In this video, I'm going to show you how you can map your own custom domain name onto your web studio website. Now, jumping into the builder, you've just finished your website, you've made sure that it's responsive, it looks good on all the different device sizes and you are ready to publish. In publishing, you have two base options. You can go ahead and click on the publish button, and immediately publish to a web studio subdomain. This is the wstd.io domain that you can see under the publish tab. If you wanted to map your own domain name, you can do so by clicking on the add new domain button. Simply type out your domain here. I'll use creator.gg as my example for this video. Add the domain and then it gives us two options to configure our domain name. We can either do it by ourselves manually via the DNS records here, or we can do it automatically entry. Let's do both. We'll start off with the entry configuration. For this, simply click on configure automatically with entry, continue. It will do a quick analysis of your domain or DNS settings. And then it's figured out who my DNS provider is and I can authorize the update. So I'll click on authorize. This will redirect me to Cloudflare since my DNS is managed via Cloudflare. This is the same process for any domain name provider. Click on authorize and then you can close that window. And there you'll see a quick pop-up that says your domain is now configured click on done and with the DNS settings configured it can still take up to 48 hours for those changes to be propagated across the web this is normal and it happens with any domain name change with most modern registers this should go through in about 10 minutes just keep in mind it's not always instant and it's something that's controlled by the register or the company that you've purchased your domain name with once the propagation has gone through you can again refresh the check status button and you'll see you now have the last publish date in green. With your new domain name configured, you can then go ahead and publish your website. And now that it's published, heading back over to the front end to check the website, we can see if we go to creator.gg, it now loads our web studio website. So how about if we wanted to configure our domain name without entry? Well, we can do so by just applying the right DNS settings. Jumping back into your web studio builder, Again, back under the publish tab, we can remove that domain that we just configured with entry. I'm going to re-add it. And this time we will walk through the configuration through the DNS settings. So we've got here a CNAME record at under the name with a certain value. So I'm just going to copy the value for this one, jump over to my DNS manager. Now I manage my DNS via Cloudflare. You might manage it through your own domain names registrar like GoDaddy or Namecheap. But essentially go into your domain settings where you can change the DNS and we're going to add two new records. First is going to be a CNAME. So under type, simply select CNAME. The name itself will either be at if it allows you. If it doesn't allow you to write at, just write in your full domain name. And then for the target, I'm just going to paste in what I had from Web Studio. Save. And then we're going to add a second record, which is a text record. Jump back to Web Studio, copy the name back to the DNS editor, paste in the name, and then back to Web Studio to copy the value. Same thing, paste that into the content field. Go ahead and click Save. Jump back to Web Studio and check your domain name status. So again, it's going to take probably about 10 minutes. It can take up to 48 hours. And you can see on my end, it's gone through almost instantly on the new domain. And once again, I can then publish and that will publish my live site. Now, some old registers don't allow you to set up custom domain names on your root domain. So without the www dot, this is something that's still around, but it came from the old days where every website started with a www. There are two ways you can get around this without having to move your domain to a different registrar. First and the easiest is that you can go ahead and set up Cloudflare and this will allow you to manage all of your DNS settings via Cloudflare as we just demoed in the video. The second method is to set up your domain name to www dot variant of your website and then create a redirect with your domain name provider. I'll give an example of that in the article linked below where I walk you through this exact setup for a registrar that doesn't allow you to change the CNAME record. But otherwise, that is pretty much it for this video. Thank you very much for tuning in. Let me know if you have any questions in mapping your own domain name or changing any of your DNS settings. And also let me know if there's anything else you'd like to see in a future video. Thank you very much for the time and I'll catch you in the next one. Ciao.